Hey, you, I need you to hit that subscribe button. Subscribe. Remember I asked you about, I said, who created the coronavirus? You said the devil. What did I say? I said the Lord. The same person that sent the white man against us, that same person sent the coronavirus to America. We ask that our customers wear face coverings as well. Please remember to practice social distancing of six foot or more when possible. Right, right. That's what they say. The Bible says something different. We don't believe in they. We don't even know who they are. They say a lot. The Bible says the exact opposite. So the sister said, uh, they say that God creates the good and devil creates the bad, right? Okay, let's, let's go into the Bible real quick. Isaiah chapter 45, verse 7. The book of Isaiah chapter 45, verse 7. I form the light and create darkness. The Bible says I form the, the same person that created the sun and the moon. He created light and he created darkness. What else did he create? I make peace and create evil. God makes peace and God creates evil. He didn't say Satan creates evil. God creates evil. So where Satan come from? Satan works for God. That's right. That's right. Satan is used as the instrument of God to fulfill his will. You know why Satan was created? He was created for when God knew that you would start wearing pants. Satan didn't have any power over you until you started following after his ways. Right. Go back to jo uh, go to Job chapter 1. Everything works for God. God is the supreme power. That's right. And then, and then we're going to go to Amos after that. Amos 3. Yes, sir. God is the supreme power. There's no power. But of God. Then we go to Romans 13. Yes, sir. We're starting to heat up now. Yes, sir. All right. The book of Job, chapter 1. And you want it verse, Start of verse 7. Verse 7. And the Lord said unto Satan. And who? And the Lord said unto Satan. So can you imagine that, sis? Right. Why do you think they're having a, a conversation? Because Satan worked for, for the Lord. Right. He got to go to the Lord for permission to do anything. Right. So when S Satan is your accuser, right? So Satan goes to the most high God in the heavens. And you know what he's saying about you right now? He's saying, S Satan is saying to the Lord, well, your laws say that she can't wear pants, but she got on pants. Can I kill her? That's what Satan is saying in the heavens right now. Eat. Satan is in the heavens right now. When, when was the last time you had some bacon, shrimp, crab, lobster, anything like that? You had some bacon the other day, so it's still in your body right now. So Satan is in the heavens right now saying, look, your daughter Tanya, she still got bacon in her belly right now. Can I kill her? What did the Lord say? He said, nah, I'll give her some more time. I'm going to give her some grace so that she can repent. That's right. Because what did Titus tell us? Grace is to teach us to deny ungodliness. That's right. So the Lord said to Satan, give her a little bit more time. I let my son die for her sin too. I'm going to give her another opportunity to repent. Matter of fact, I'm going to send her. I ain't going to send you, Satan. I'm going to send one of my righteous angels to stir up your spirit to come to Walmart on Saturday afternoon so that you can learn that you're an Israelite and that you not break God's commandments anymore. That's right. That's the grace and mercy that God had on your spirit right there. Anybody know what that is in, in, in Kings? Wait, wait. Okay, all right, we're gonna go there too. We're gonna go there too. I want you to understand what's happening in the heavens right now. I swear, I don't wanna die. You don't wanna die, but if you do die, you wanna die in righteousness. That's right. Because if you die in righteousness, when Christ comes back, you're gonna be the first to resurrect and go up in the chariot. Thank you for shopping at your local Walmart. All right, now keep that up. Verse seven, and the Lord said unto Satan, whence comest thou? Then Satan answered the Lord and said, from going to and fro in the earth, 
and from walking up and down in it. So Satan walks and his agents go throughout the earth looking for people like you and I that are breaking God's laws. And then he goes right back to the heavens and reports that to the Lord to try to get permission to kill you, to put a disease on you, to give you cancer, to kill your children, to make you get in an accident. All of these things are of the Lord, my sister. That's why you must repent from your sins. But if God, if so, that was the Lord that spared your child. That's also the Lord that allowed that accident to happen. Right. Nothing happens on this earth without the Lord giving a stamp of approval, whether it's good or evil. Because what the Bible says, I create peace and what and evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. Keep reading. Verse 8. And the Lord said unto Satan, Hast thou considered my servant Job? So the Lord said unto Satan, Have you considered my servant Job? Read. That thou, I mean, that there is none like him in the earth. Uh -huh. A perfect and upright man, one that feareth God and escheweth evil. Read. Then Satan answered the Lord and said, Doth Job fear God for not? So Satan said to the Lord, Pay close attention, Tanya. Does Job fear God for no reason? He's got a, a real good reason to fear you, God. And he's going to tell him the reason. Read. Hast not thou made an hedge about him? You protected Job. And about his house. Uh -huh. And about all that he hath on every side. Thou hast blessed the work of his hands. And his abundance is increased in the land. But put forth thine hand now. This is Satan speaking. Satan is telling the Lord to put forth what? But put forth thine hand now. Put forth thine hand. Satan is telling the Lord to put forth his hand, the Lord's hand. Read. And touch all that he hath, and he will curse thee to thy face. Keep reading. And the Lord said unto Satan, Behold, all that he hath is in thy power. Behold, all that he hath is in thy power. So what's the Lord's hand? Satan's power. Right. Satan is the Lord's hand. Keep reading. Only upon himself put not forth thine hand. So Satan went forth from the presence of the Lord. So Satan had to get what from the Lord? He had to get permission from the Lord. So that's what that's how you see the harmony of the scriptures. You never heard the Bible be taught correctly until you came before the prophets of the Most High God. That's right. The only place you can get true understanding of the scriptures is from an Israelite. Keeping God's commandments. All the people in the book that were teaching God's laws, all the prophets, were what? Israelites. Moses was an Israelite from the tribe of Levi. Christ was an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. Right. Paul was an Israelite from the tribe of Benjamin. Gee. And who are we? The Israelites. We are the Israelites. That's the only place you can get understanding of this book is going to be from the Israelites. The Christian pastors that are hooting and hollering cannot give you the understanding from the Israelites. Right. I'm going to give you some more understanding of what's happening in the heavens right now. Good and evil. You got that? Yes, sir. All right, check this out. First Kings chapter 22. The book of First Kings chapter 22 and verse 19. And he said, Hear thou therefore the word of the Lord. I saw the Lord sitting on his throne. He saw the Lord sitting on his throne. This is out of the King James Holy Bible. Read. And all the host of heaven standing by him on his right hand and on his left. What, what side of the Lord was Christ on? No, Christ was on the right hand side. Uh-huh. So where do you think Satan was? That's right. Satan was on the left. There That's you go right. right there. All the righteous were on one side. All the evil is on the other side. Remember the scripture said all the hosts of heaven, all the good and all the evil are in the heaven sitting right next to the Most High God, right. awaiting his orders. That's right. Read. And the Lord said, who shall persuade Ahab that he may go up and fall at Ramoth Gilead? Uh -huh. And one said on this manner, and another said on that manner. So the good are speaking, and the evil are speaking, to decide what's going to happen. Read. Verse 21. Uh -huh. And there came forth a spirit, and stood before the Lord. So one of the angels from the left side came and stood before the Lord, the same way Satan came and stood before the Lord. Read. And said, uh -huh. I will persuade him. And the Lord said unto him, Wherewith? And he said, I will go forth 
and be a lying spirit in the mouth of all his prophets. Is lying good or evil? Evil. Evil. So evil is in the heavens, talking to the Lord, awaiting for the Lord's permission. Read. And he said, Thou shalt persuade him and prevail also. Go forth and do so. The Lord said, You shall persuade him and be successful. The, the Lord put his stamp of approval. That speaker be getting on my nerves. The Lord put his stamp of approval on an evil spirit to come down and persuade Ahab to lie. You see that? So the scriptures told us that God creates peace and he creates evil. Go to uh, Amos chapter 3. And start at verse 1. Uh, no, I want verse 2. What is like... What is witchcraft? Because that's evil, right? Yeah, that's evil. That's and evil. how do you get away from it? Because that's what I feel like. It's on me. From my child's father family have slipped this curse on me. Okay, I got you, sis. Amos chapter 3. I'm going to just finish that point on the good and evil, so I want you to understand where evil comes from. All right, this is the last one, and then we'll go to another topic. Amos chapter 3, I think, uh, give me verse 2. Verse 2. And he said, the Lord will rock. Chapter, chapter, chapter 3, verse 3, and start at verse 3. The book of Amos chapter 3 and verse 3. Can two walk together except they be agreed? So what we just saw is the, the even in the heavenly realm, the two would be the what? The left and the right. Right, the good and the evil, except they agree. What's the agreement? They got to have the stamp of approval from the Lord. Right, right, read. Verse 4. Will a lion roar in the forest when he has no prey? Will a young lion cry out in his den if he have taken nothing? Verse 5. Can a bird fall in a snare upon the earth where no genie is for him? Shall one take up a snare from the earth and have taken nothing at all? Shall a trumpet be blown in the city? So pay attention to verse 6, sister. And the people be not afraid. Uh -huh. Shall there be evil, what? evil uh -huh. in a city? And the Lord hath not done it. It's the Lord that does all the good. It's the Lord that does all the evil. That's right. To accomplish his will. He may allow some evil to happen to you. Just, yeah, he'll allow some evil to happen to you for one or two reasons. Then I need to do some changes in my life. Exactly. Exactly. Or he may allow some evil to happen to you to judge you for your sins. The Lord may say, you know what? I've given her enough opportunity to repent. She hasn't done it. Satan, go kill her, huh, Pops? Because the wages of sin is still death. It's still death. God has just given you a period of grace to repent. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision the tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. I, you, I, see, we deliver the truth.